Calvin Castan at the West Plattsburgh Legion Field, field number one. We got Dave Letourneau on the pitching rubber. The sun is setting here. It's just a hair before 8 o'clock on the 7.45 scheduled start time. Adirondack slow pitch league action. First round play is Dragoons Farm Equipment in the orange. And then that uh, red and sometimes red, white, and blue camouflage. It's the American Legion Post 1619 squad. That's hit through the left side, and Mike Castine is on with a leadoff single. Well, let's see. Uh, pitching, as we said, is Laterno, and it's going to bring up uh, Alfie Ledoux. Laterno's pitching behind the plate is Danny Trombley. Uh, first base, you got Stephen Carter. Second base, Danny Dragoon. Uh, shortstop is Jamie Davison. Third base is Travis Davison. See a trend there, huh? Uh, outfield, left to right, you got Dylan Carter. Um, the, uh, Danny Boris. Josh Chapman and Tyler Davison. The only non-starter is Greg Cord uh, Cadiz. That's ball four, so Ledoux walks. Uh, Jim Davis is, is batting for Dave Letourneau, and so he's the designated hitter, and Nate Boutin is in the lineup as the extra hitter, or extra player. This is Dylan Lajway. With uh, Tom Jackstadt and John Schutz. Just left Donnie Schutz at the uh, Lefty Wilson Field. Umpiring. So we got Schutz, uh, Schutz in the outfield, uh, Schutz in the, in the umpire's uniforms tonight. Donnie upping the bases in the American Legion Clinton County Mariners game I was doing. And uh, J John here. Jim's out of town. He couldn't make it. So now we got Christopher Castine. High, deep to left field, looks playable. Both runners will advance, so there's two down. And it's going to bring up Gus Terry. Let's see, how many Davisons? Tyler, Jamie, Travis, Jim. Four Davisons on the uh, Dragoon side. Three Castines. And this fellow who married a Castine on the uh, American Legion team, Gus Terry. <laughs> First. Excuse me, first base is open. Run to the second, third. Two ducks on the pond with two outs here in the first. Caleb Castine on deck. Three and one. Ball four. So they walk Gus Terry to get pitched to Caleb Castine. He He was the only one who hit it over the fence last time I was here, a couple days ago. I haven't been here in a long time. First time I've been in this spot in maybe three years right here. And I covered a game. And the line shot looks like it's playable. It's all down. A long fly ball to the left fielder, Dylan Carter. So six up, three down, nothing to cross for... American Legion 16-19. We're going to the bottom of the first. Goalless in West Plattsburgh. Well, you got Tyler Davison leading off the bottom of the first. Jim Caron pitching for the 16-19 team. 
Looks like a playable ball in left. Castine makes the catch. One out. And Jamie Davison, the batter. Van Held is a little shaky here. We'll have to get used to the angles. June 29th. June 29th. Don't think I mentioned that yet. Tries to go the opposite way. It's going to be over the fence and out of play. Somebody will go get it. But they set up the middle. Jamie Davidson is on now. Nathan Bootin, a Bootin, Bootin, if you prefer. Batting third. So when you're batting third in a lineup full of Davisons, you must be a good hitter. Strike one. One one. Jim Davidson on deck. Chris Booten just showed up. There you go. Uh, it looks like it could be. It gets caught. Kept contact. Kept contact. That's uh, Jake's out there in the right center. Oh, what happened? Shuts appealed to Jack Stack. So Shutt said, uh, did his foot come off? And Jack Stutt said, yes, it did. So he is out. We're going to go to the second inning. It's still scoreless. So we got Justin Besaw. I think he's in right field. Plate swing with the first offering. Hits it to left field. Oh, now on it here. So I can catch that. Trying to make a basket type catch out there in left field was well, Dylan Carter and he just uh, looked like he just kind of nonchalanted that a little bit. Now here's Corey Jakes. So that was Wheatley that made that catch here. Well, Jakes, I wasn't sure which one had number seven on. Jakes is... Uh, One who doesn't have number seven on. So Wheatley is uh, number seven. We'll have to keep that in mind here. So he's the right center fielder. They don't uh, they don't bother giving us lineups here. When <laughs> they're just happy to get the, the batting order down. So we got to piece together the lineup after. There's a pitch from Laterno to right center. That is caught. Tiagan advances to third. Now Pete Wheatley, the right center fielder, will step in. Temperature 72 degrees when we shut our vehicle off. It's pleasant, but it's probably going to cool down for the evening is over. Oh, no. Three and Strike called. Pop top ew, new life. <laughs> Trombley should have had it. Too much spin. 
It was a spinning and spun right out of his glove. That's through the middle. That's going to drive in the first run of the game. Both these teams will probably be in the A division when the dust settles. They're playing 36 games in the first round here, so there are, I think, 20, 36, 18, 18 times to 19 teams, I guess, and they play 18 teams, so they play each team twice, then they break up into divisions. Jim Karen hits it right to the right field. There'll be no advance. That was uh, right fielder Tyler Davison. I'm not sure if that's Tyler Davison. Who's the right center fielder that's supposed to be here? Josh Chapman. That's Chapman. Here's Randy Whalen. Outfield, keep in front of you. Ball one. Man at first, one in, two outs. Top of the second inning, a one nothing score. That's hit to Davison, he grabs it. So we're gonna go to the bottom of the second, one nothing. Post 16-19, leading Dragoons here on Hometown Cable. Jim Davison is the batter. He's leading off the bottom of the second. Team down one nothing. He said I can neutralize that with one swing. Three thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine lifetime homers looking for number four thousand. Oh off the glove with Caleb Castein. And Davison will reach. So hit to his backhand, He's like a tennis player. Some people have better backhands than others. So Davison reaches, and now Dan Trombley, the catcher, Dan Jr., of course. Makes a strike. Like two. Karen coming right after him. Travis Davison on deck. It's deep. Two balls, two strikes. Nobody out. Tying run on board. Putin running for Davison. Bombley hits it deep. Deep to right center, it's going to be out of here. Two run homer for Dan Trombley. Not Dan Davison, Dan Trombley. So that makes it two to one with nobody out. And Travis Davison coming up. Dan Boris moving on deck. It's from Karen. Deep for a ball. Strike. Right, here we go. Next level. Next level. What's the band doing? They sit up the middle. Come on, 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 Come 
Drag on. Still nobody out. Outside. That is the right center. Wheatley grabs, no advance, one out. One out. Uh, Danny Bullis or Danny Dragoon. This is uh, <laughs> too many Dannys on this team. Carter's on deck, so this is Danny Dragoon. And Dragoon from the sponsors here. He's Dragoon's farm equipment. Bring it all. Ball four. Dragoon walks on four straight. That'll get uh, Dan Karen a. Uh, $50 discount on his next lawnmower. And Steve Carter, all six foot, 15 of them, steps in. That's going to be a little single into left field. Hey, he's going to score. Yep. Travis Davison comes in to score. Make it three nothing. RBI single for Carter and Dylan Carter. Got Carter and Carter. Carter, the left fielder. Pitch from Karen. Strike. A two. On deck, Josh Chapman, the right fielder. Just missing deep. Pops up. Ledoux grabs. Two down. You see how excited they are in the Legion 16 19 bench over there. Don't see Sam Lajway yet. Uh, he and Ledoux are the only non starters. There's Chapman. Strike one. Hit the third. Gus Terry sweeps it up. Three runs for Dragoons. We're going two. The third inning here with the farm equipers leading 16-19. And looks like Mike Castine leading off the top half of the third. Both teams batted around with different uh, results in the first two innings. Uh, straight away center, it is... It is caught, Tyler Davison making a, a circus catch. Best uh, cuts, catch ever this young fellow here says, What's your name, young man? <laughs> Best catch he's ever seen. Oh, here we got uh, Alfie Ledoux. Hi, oh, can of corn. Actually, it's in the infield, so it's not a can of corn. Can of spinach, I guess. Grabbed by Jamie Dean. Two outs. 
and Dylan Lajway in the back. So Donnie Laporte said that was the best catch he ever saw. So yeah, Donnie says it's the best, and it's got to be the best. But I know Donnie went fib. Not the best catch I've ever seen, but it's a darn good one. Whoa, oh, that one. <laughs> oh, he giveth and he taketh away. <laughs> hey, you can't live on the last play there, you know. <laughs> Didn't get down on it. Just failed to get down. So, um, Lajway gets an extra base out of it. And Chris Castine will step in. He's the cleanup hitter. Takes it inside for ball one. That's a line shot. It's yeah. caught in left center. Well, nothing across for post 16 19. It's still 3 0 Dragoons at the end of two and a half here on viewer supported hometown cable. Top of the order, right center fielder, Tyler Davison. A leadoff single to start the bottom half of the third in his 3 nothing ball game. He'll bring up Jamie Davison. And the pitch from Karen. Inside, ball one. To Castine in left center. One out. Nate Booten. Strike one. Up the middle, base hit. Ball went to third for some reason. You got to hold that man at first. Got to hold that man at first. They don't throw to third. Unless they got away from the cutoff. Ball should not have ended up at third base. Should be first and third right now. So it takes the double play away. With Jim Davison stepping in. Three nothing the score, one out, and two men in scoring position for the veteran Davison. He swings, tries to go the opposite way. He does. Chris Castang grabs, run scores. So no harm here in that previous one because Bhutan would have ended up at second on that one. So sacrifice fly for JD Jim Davison. That's two outs. And Danny Trombley stepping in. He homered last time up. And it's at 4 nothing here in the third. Pitch from Karen is swung on, hit to second. Oh, -ho, took a friendly bounce. Gonna lose him, lose him back at third. Don't lose him at, at the plate. <laughs> He's out. It hit off the cement in front of the dugout and <laughs> bounced right to the catcher of the dew. So a good hop here in Bhutan is out. <laughs> a good hop if you're a 16-19 member of that team. And a bad hop if you're a member of Dragoons. So it's 4 nothing after 3 full on viewer-supported home down cable. Strike one to Gus Terry as we start the fourth inning. Yeah. Fast moving game so far. After watching baseball, <laughs> slow pitch moves kind of fast. 
That's a base hit. Oh, Jamie Davidson, if he was uh, Steve Carter, Carter would have caught that one. <laughs> He's a foot taller than Davidson. <laughs> That's why they call him the short stop, not the tall stop. Tall stops at first base. Wait a minute here. Oh, they got a pinch, pinch runner here for Terry. Here's Caleb Castein. It's a line shot, base hit. No bottle, no bottle. Chris Castein will stop it. Second. Caleb Castein with a single. Justin Besaw, the second baseman, the batter. Strike. Wasn't you anyway, B. Wasn't you anyway, B. Come on, Tom B. Jackson, B. John Schutz. Oh, uh, your officials. Oh, baby. That's high, it's deep, it is out of here. B saw with a three run dinger, makes it a four three ball game, so that closes the gap. Three run homer for B saw. And it's four three here in the Top of the fourth. <laughs> and the batter now will be Corey Jakes. And the Willsboro Jakes. And they get the ball back. June 29th, 2016, 8.31 p.m. That is too deep right field. Chapman makes it interesting. Is that two down or one? Two down, I guess. Huh? Let's see. No, one down. One down. Pete Wheatley with Jim Karen on deck. Come on, Wheat. Come on, Wheat. Dave Laterno. Delivers. Strike one. Viewer supported local television. If you are watching this, we need your support. Boy, we you are supported, and uh, without viewer support, uh, we're out of business. Come on, Jimmy. Come on, Jimmy. Oh, man, on. Tying run is on. And Jim Karen will be the batter with Randy Whalen moving on deck. Base hit for Karen. First and second. Randy Whalen at the plate, top of the order on deck. So with two outs, one out. With one out, it's a big batter here for Laterno. Big batter here for Laterno. Pitch to Whalen. Get too short. Davidson boots it. Booted it. Like it came up and rolled up to the heel of his his right hand and up his forearm. So it hit him in the heel of his non-glove hand. <laughs> so the bags are full. Potential tying run at third. Potential go-ahead run at second. And Chris Castine takes a strike. Oh, excuse me, Mike Castine. Michael Castine at the plate. Gary Castine coaching at third. Nick Ledoux coaching at first base. <laughs> Off the glove. Everybody's going to be safe. Tying run scores. Right, Castine reaches. And Alfie Ledoux. Still just one out. Tying run is in. Go ahead, run is at third. Strike one. That's a base hit. It's going to score Wayland. It's going to score two runs. The 
two ribbies for the do, and it's now 6-4 of 16-19, leading Dragoons Farm Equipment. So Dylan Lashway, the number three hitter in the lineup, is at the plate. Still just one out. Hits it through the left side. Castan will score. And Michael Castine scores. He will run for Lajway, apparently. Not sure how that works. It's supposed to be the last out, I thought. Here's Chris Castine. First and second. Strike. So what do we got here? The... Uh, Oh, it'll be battered around here. I guess. No, it can't be right. It's a base hit. I'm losing track here. Another run scores. Well, Ladu scores. Yeah, I guess Terry must have let it off. Yeah, he did. So, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven batters they've got. Yeah, Wayland's an extra hitter. they got eleven batters. Strike to Terry. Eleven batters, two on, one out. Nice catch. Nice catch by uh, left fielder Dylan Carter. So let's see, this is the um, 12, 13th batter, Caleb Castine. 13 batters, so eight runs in apparently. Yeah, 11 batters, they've batted around and two more, so it's 13 batters, minus five. Two outs, two on, one at the plate. So that's eight runs in, so it's eight, four, Pull 16-19, pitching carefully to the cast time. Bisa, who homered, is on deck. There's a strike. Line shot, base hit for Castine. Mike Castine scores. Caleb. And <coughs> Caleb Castine. <coughs> Losing my voice here. Need a cough drop. I guess an RBI. Justin Besaw, who homered last time up, is at the plate. Three-run homer, you might recall. You know, walk would load them up. Ball four, so he walks B saw on four pitches. And Corey Jakes will be the batter. So we got, what, nine runs in this inning? And I'm losing track here. The scoreboard's not working here. Nobody running, operating the scoreboard. It probably works if somebody operates it. Jakes will score two. Caleb Castine scores. And on the throw over there, it allows Jakes to go to second base. That's why well, you don't do that. Keep that force on. So there's Pete Wheatley. So one, two, three, four, five, sixteen batters. 11 runs in. Off the glove. See the force? They had the force. Davison went them in rushing that. Wheatley reaches. Another run scores. Jim Karen up. Takes a strike, just hits the edge of the mat. <laughs> K 
Karen's got a base hit in his bat. It falls in in right center. Another run scores. Swole goes to third. The run scores. Karen goes to third. Let's go, come on! Uh, Jim Davison. I've been playing like this all year. Let's go! Come on! Get Reminding you the outfield where the throw should go here. Alright. Randy Whalen up now. So, two, four, six, seven. Seven and eleven. Eighteen batters. But only one on. Wayland's going to drop it in the middle. Nice effort. It's going to go all the way to the fence. He'll get three out of it. No, he'll get two out of it. Two, four, six, seven batter. 18 batters. 19th batter, Mike Castine. 19 minus 4. Holy cow, 5th. Can't be right. <laughs> that can't be right. 15 runs in. Inside. Nineteenth batter of the inning. Hits it through the left side. So we're gonna have unless somebody gets thrown out here and Wayland's gonna score. RBI for Mike Castine. <laughs> so we're gonna have a twentieth batter, Alfie Ledoux. Can they bat around twice? They're gonna be two batters away from it when as Ledoux steps up here. Twentieth batter of the inning. Two outs, one at the plate, one on. That's four run, four batters unaccounted for. That's 16 batters, 16 runners have scored. Deep left center, Ledoux has homered. Alfie Ledoux has just added two more to the Legion 16-19 ledger. And this has been a long top of the fourth inning. And the 21st batter of the inning is up. 18 runs in. We gotta find us the ball. Okay, they found the ball. Dylan Lajway is at the plate. 21st batter of the inning. Bags are empty. There are one batter away right now from batting around twice. Batting around once is an accomplishment in an inning. Lajway is going to keep the inning going with the base hit. He reaches. Ladu, the last batter, will. Ladu will run for Lajway. God, no, no, God, scary. Yes, Terry's on deck. Chris Castine up. So he's the 22nd batter. Paternal delivers. Strike one. Uh, it's going to be trouble. Nice catch by Carter. A well hit ball. But Carter, the right fielder, catches up with 22 batters, three outs, one left, 18 runs across. It's 18 4 as we go to the bottom of the fourth. Little first ball hitting to left field. We have an out as Chris Castine catches it here. I'm busy chatting with the. Uh, these guys here, they, I don't know what they're, what team they're with. They're Altona boys and Moore's boys. Well, what's, uh, that was um, Travis Davison. Now we got Dan Boris. 
18-4 is the score. Unbelievable inning there for, uh, but I remember, <laughs> I remember the uh, Davisons were on the winning side of it, I think, a game or two in the Scioto Sunday League playoffs where well over 100 runs were scored in the game. Oh, that was a foul. Dan Boris at the plate, Dan Dragoon on deck. Uh, ball chaser. That looks deep. That the fence. It's got warning track. Warning track. Dan Boris flies out. I'll bring up Dan Dragoon. Well, looks like Nick Ledoux is in behind the plate. I don't think Sam Latchway ever showed up. He's been... Uh, last time I was here, he'd have to stay extra long at work. And, well, he might be stuck late at work. Strike. We're in the bottom of the fourth. Hit the short, Lajway Dillon picks up, goes to Caleb Caspine, oh, whoop, 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 no driver on a reach, throw was low, and Caspine just couldn't come up with it, knocked it down, just couldn't get the handle. I think when, I don't know, I guess we'll give, him a, give Caleb the, the error on that one. Steve Carter, that's it, up the middle, base hit. Now Dylan Carter. Big one. Hit through the middle. That's going to score a run. Carter with the RBI makes it 18 to 5. And Josh Chapman, the right fielder, will step in. He's not as tall as uh, Steve Carter, but he's pretty close. All one. Two. Three and oh. Top of the order on deck. That's the guy Karen wants to go after here. Strike. Well, 16 19 proved you can score a lot of runs with two outs. Deep, 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 deep. Whoa! Nice catch by Chris Gastine. Nice running grab. A well hit ball by Chapman. But a nice catch took the extra base hit away from him. So it's going to be 18 5 after 4 full here on viewer supported hometown cable. Ball on to Gus Terry. Little did he know when he let off the fourth that uh, he'd be leading off the fifth. After the team batted around twice, straight away center Gus Terry has flown out to Davison. We have one out. 18-5 is the score. Top half of the fifth inning. Now here's Caleb Castine. He singled twice last inning. And he singles again. The line drive base hit. So he's on with the one-out single. 
And the batter will be Justin Besaw. He homered and walked last inning. Pitch from Eterno. Two down. Corey Jakes. Base it. Chapman will pick it up. Castine will go to third. Jakes will stop at first. Be runners at the corners. And Pete Wheatley. That's a line drive to Davison for the out. So nothing across. Nothing across. It's 18-5. I think it's a 12-run mercy rule. So Davison's has to score at least two to keep this one going as we go to the bottom of the fifth. Trailing 18-5. Dragoon's farm equipment will send up the top of the order. They got to score at least two to keep this game going with the 12-run mercy rule. They trail by 13 right now. Tyler Davis in the batter. Could be trouble. It's going to fall in. Good try by Mike Castine, but Davis is on with the leadoff single. Line drive in the scorebook. Now uh, here's shortstop Jamie Davidson. Karen checks his defense. Delivers. Ball one outside. On deck, Nate Bhutan. Off the fence. Two, three, two, three, two, three. So the potential keeping the game alive runner is in scoring position and nobody out. Davison's at second and third. So here's Nate Boutin with Jim Davison on deck. Strike one. Nobody out. It looks like we will see a sixth inning here. Up the middle, that's a base hit. That might do. It's going to score them both. It's now 18 7. Now here's Jim Davison. A designated, a ex -designated hitter. Bhutan is the extra hitter. Looking back 12 in this league. The 10 fielders. Two, four, six. Actually, 11. You can bat 11. Play 12. That's a base hit up the middle. And play 12. That's what they're doing here. Batting 11. You can have a designated hitter and an extra hitter. <laughs> Davison reaches. Runners at the corner. Still nobody out. Those Dragoons looks to have a big inning. There's Dan Trombley. He homered earlier in the game. And he gets a base hit. Ball got away in right field. Two runs score. Ball got away in right field. 
So, still nobody out. Travis Davison at the plate. Strike. And that's a base hit. Nobody wants to make an out here. Oh, Travis Davison with the base hit. It brings up Danny Boris. Two, four, six, seventh batter, I think. I don't think there's anybody out yet. Ball one. One minute before nine. Next game scheduled to start at nine. Popped up. It's going to be out of play. Out of play. Up the middle, Karen, throw the second, throw the first, double play. <laughs> Jim Karen's so excited, he's going home. There's only two outs. They're a long time coming. Well, here's Dan Dragoon. I think it's about 18-10 right now is my guess. So I'll add him up after the inning. Strike. It's deep. Come on, come on. At the fence, Mike Castine makes the catch. Four long out for Danny Dragoon. Two outs. Sounds like five runs. We're going to go to the sixth inning. 18 10, 16 19, leading Dragoon Farm Equipment. Jim Karen at the plate from the 1619 dugout. They're all in 1910. I've got 1810, so I'm not sure. Line shot to Steve Carter. Karen hits a, a bullet, but right at Carter, and he makes it look easy. Now we go to Randy Whalen. Top of the sixth inning. Inside, ball one. Mosquitoes are starting to come out now. Doggone it. There's a base hit right up the middle. Oh, we went on with the one out single. Coming up the top of the order. And Michael Castine will step in. Karen will run for Wayland. Used to be, it would have to be uh, 80 years old or walking on crutches to get a courtesy runner, but the league just opened it up a few years back. Some teams would allow courtesy runners, someone created a lot of hard feelings, they'd say, that guy's not hurt, he's just faking it. And Face it through the left side for Mike Castine. Well, it's first and second. And Alfie Ledoux will be the batter. Not sure who Nick Ledoux uh, is in for. He's catching.
Pitch to Ledoux is ball one. Sixth inning, 19 to 10 or 18 to 10. Cooling off here after a day in the upper 70s. That looks playable. Chapman drifting back, drifting back. He makes the catch. Both runners will advance. It's second and third. Second, third, two ducks on the pond for Dylan Lashway with two outs. Inside, ball one. Strike, one and one. The Turnell delivers. Foul ball out of play. Up the middle. Off the Turnell's glove. Two runs will score. So it's either 20 or 21 to 10 which could come into play in the uh, bottom of the sixth if 16-19 uh, scores a couple more runs and gets that 12 or 13 run lead. Here's Mike Castine. Excuse me, Craig. Chris Castine. Too many Castines. You can't keep track of them. Look at this guy. He's got a jacket on. Spends all day with a his shirt off and comes here, takes his, put a jacket on here on the June 29th. To the left side, you have an easy play at second for the force. Two runs will make it either 20 or 21 to 10, and we're going to the seventh inning. No matter what, we're going right now, we're going to the bottom of the sixth. Stephen Carter at the plate. He's going to lead off the bottom half of the six. And I've got a 20 to 10 score. High fly ball, right field. Jakes makes the catch. One out. And it gets us to Dylan Carter. Pitch from Karen. Straight away center. Mike Castine makes the catch. Two down. Two outs. Nobody on. And Josh Chapman, top of the order on deck. Strike one. Fly ball, deep left field. Chris Castine is there. He makes the catch. Three up, three down. It'll be the top of the order when Dragoon's farm equipment comes up in the bottom of the seventh. Right now, they're trailing 20 to 10, going to the going to the top of the seventh. This is the third time that Gus Terry has led off the inning. He's leading off here in the seventh. His team up by 10 or 11 if you believe in their scorebook. Top of the seventh, 2010, the score. 
It's 9-11 on June 29th. The uh, next games will start 11 minutes ago, so they're going to be nice and late. They'll start at least half an hour late, at the very least. Strike. Fly ball. One down as Dylan Carter makes the catch. That'll bring up Caleb Robert Henry Castine. Hi, Canicorn. Davison grabs. We have two down. And Justin Besaw will step in. This guy coming in a nice shade of blue right now. Strike one. Pitch from Letourneau. That's a line drive. Could drop it. In there for a base hit. So Bisa will be in at second with a double. Oh, line drive, sinking line drive, base hit. Two bases, two bases for Bisa. Now Corey Jakes. Strike one. Hit to Carter. E3. Well, Jake's reaches and Pete Wheatley will step in. Runners at the corners. Eternal well, pitches. Strike gets the inside edge of the mat. Hit back to Letourneau, over to Carter for the out. Nothing across for 16-19. It's still 2010. We're going to the bottom of the seventh on viewer supported hometown cable. Oh, starting to get a little <laughs> humid in the air. It is apparently 21 to 10. It is apparently 21 to 10. We are in the bottom of the seventh, so 11 to tie, 12 to win. Tyler Davison, the leadoff man, and the leadoff man in the lineup starts it off with a base hit. And Jamie Davison steps in. Takes the ball. Up to Castine. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I think they bounced off the side of Davison's head. So the E3 will put men at first and second. And bring up Nate Boutin. Or Boutin if you prefer. I prefer Boutin. Well, Grandfather Frank prefers Bhutan. Oh, 
hit up the middle base hit. It's going to be 21 11. 21-11. Don't worry about that guy at third. Just keep that force on here. Hey, Jim Davison's up. How many years have I been saying Jim Davison's up? Started saying that 1983 on camera. 1983, 33 years ago, Jim Davison was playing in the Lake Champlain League. He was just a young whippersnapper at the time. There's a base hit. Is he going to run? He's going to get a courtesy runner. Uh, Jamie Davison will run for him. Danny Trombley, the batter. Fifth batter of the inning. Two on, two in. Nobody out. Nine eighteen. That nine o'clock game gets later and later. It's a Wednesday night, so <laughs> folks got to work tomorrow. A line shot, that's going to be caught by Mike Castine. No, not Mike Castine, uh, Pete. Uh, Pete Wheatley makes that catch. First out, line drive. Hey, well hit ball. Now Travis Davison will step in with one out, one down, and they run score on that. Looks like there's only one man on. It must be a run score. I gotta start paying attention here. <laughs> Strike. Well, let's see. Uh, sixth batter of the inning. One out. One on. One at the plate. So three runs are in. There's a base hit. Travis Davison reaches. And Danny Boris. Oh, step to the plate. Left center fielder. Ball on, just misses deep. And Dragoon on deck. One out. Three runs in here. There's a strike. 21 13 to score. High and deep, but Chris Castine has plenty of room. Two down. Well, Boris, it's a high out for a second out. And Dan Dragoon will step up. Dan Dragoon and Dragoon's farm equipment down to their last out. Both runners advanced. Those runs don't mean a thing. It all does is take the force off. Pitch the Dragoon. Steve Carter on deck. Strike one. Nope. Ball one. 21 13, according to my score sheet. Strike. Eighth batter of the inning. Two outs, two on, one at the plate. That's five, so that leaves three in, so. 21, 13. <laughs> Off the glove of Lajway. That'll score two. Oh, Dan Dragoon keeps the game alive. 21, 15, Steve Carter now. Nobody makes the last out. Dragoons wins.
21-15 on our score sheet. Actually, according to my score sheet, it's 20-15, but I heard from both benches that it was 21, so I'm going to assume that uh, I'm wrong again. Strike two. Karen ahead. Dylan Lashway makes the catch. Actually knocked it down. Comes up limping, goes to Bisa at second for the force. That's how important that force is. Will not have to play at first base. So according to my sheet, 21-15. American Legion post 16-19. Defeats Dragoons Farm Equipment in a slugfest here on this next to the last day. See you, John. Uh, next to the last day of June 2016, you're watching viewer-supported local television, Hometown Cable. Win, lose, or draw TV worthy of your support. Hometown Cable, thanks to those of you watching and supporting our continuing effort. 